Well, we've spent a lot of time talking about the ATS and the plans are still out there and available for sale. Thank you everyone who's purchased them. Today we're going to get together with our friends from the local Aquarium Society and make our own frozen fish food. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button, uh, like us on Facebook, and uh, we sure appreciate all your support. So stay tuned and we'll get right to it here. So Uncle Zuland uh, organized this meeting and uh, he went out and bought a lot of stuff. Uh, we each paid seven bucks a pound in advance so that uh, to help out with the cost of this thing So at any rate Tim's got it all figured out. What's your secret Tim? The secret to the recipe is there is no recipe it's, yeah, yeah. It, you, you try to find some basic stuff that you like that you use and then you kind of use what you have laying around and and what's on sale um, I always throw in samples of fish food that I get from different shows that kind of stuff. It's uh, Always good filler to add. Um, bulk frozen product from Gemco. Very good place to buy if you're buying large quantities. What's Gemco? Uh, it's an online source. They do a lot of supplies for large fish facilities. Um, you'll see a lot of packaging with with uh, funny writing on them because I buy most of my um, proteins from Asian markets. They seem to have by far the best price, and the quality all seems to be, seems to be good. Is this uh, Asian market here? Yeah, everything's Asian market. The shrimp, the squid, the scallops, and the octopus. Um, the cod I actually got from the local grocery store here in town because they had had a cod sale, and then as it ages, it gets cheaper and cheaper until they just want to make it go away. And so I got a pretty good deal on that. Well, this is the... I can't read that. So, Daphnia? Yep, so that's Daphnia. Um, you can see we have a lot of Daphnia going in. Holy cow. Um, a great base food source. It's um, high in proteins, high in nutrition. It is small enough that almost any fish can eat it, but it's big enough that the big fish still see it and eat it. Yeah. Um, that's the problem you have sometimes with super small stuff is the big fish just ignore it. Um, What's this here? Different krill. Um, this yeah. krill just happens to be uh, human eating krill from the Asian store. What does that mean, human eating? Uh, just this stuff is oh, so, for this, human this stuff eat. is sold not for human consumption. Oh um, really? Where these are sold as? I wonder why. It's the same thing. It's yeah. just some sort of the controls in the process. I'm sure. Purification, maybe. Yep, Arctic Easy Pods, yeah. and then uh, reef caviar, which is capel and eggs. Um, had real good success with that, feeding both in mix and as a standalone food for my system. Wow. Um, to give you an example on these scallops, they're $8 for bay scallops at the Asian store. I went to the grocery store and they were, I want to say, $29. Really? So wow. you know, it makes a big difference to, to, to pick the places to get the stuff where the pricing is good. Huh. That's really good. Kind of like, all right. Die. <laughs> if you if you want to attract some raccoons, you can dump it in the yard. Yeah, and oh, that's the other thing too. Um, I do all of mine now frozen in a in a food processor. I don't do any hand cut. We're gonna hand cut today just because oh my God, I got an idea. Um, and hand cutting is great if you need specific size pieces. If you have large fish and small fish and you want to keep some that are larger chunks, then doing it in the food processor is maybe not the best way to achieve that. Got it there. You don't want to eat that. Yeah, that's right. 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 Okay, you got to freeze these bad boys because they don't uh, chop very well. that I got from I think my wife's grandmother when she passed. So it's a nice chainsaw with great motor in it. And I just pulverize everything in it. Uh, and it's, 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 I, 
I can make a batch for myself now in about two hours. And that'll just last me three, four hours. That what I thought were gonna be huge chunks. Not really, but your ring juice kind of. <laughs> that was funny. This is a party. You gotta I'll take come in, that as is, Gary. You gotta come and do a new video, That'll by the way. Uh, Have you changed? Take, take the next couple here and like just three section each one. Here, wait. Three sections? Oh. So we can get it all. Oh, that is, that is real gross. <laughs> oh, but it's tsunami. I'm telling you, that's the McDonald's what, special sauce okay. right there. What is the yellow stuff there again? I don't know. It's real stuff. It's nutrition. Oh, Fish Vitacam. Like it. Okay. Yeah. Light again. It's just It looks like uh, orange juice concentrate. All right. My fish love it. All right. We're going to try a three piece. We got any more. Shit, Ryan. What did you mean three this way? Oh, maybe. It smells so lovely in here. Who'd have thought the coffee? Hey, look, it's clear! Yeah, that, the seems only like that's stuff that's clear. clear! So we've got this thing set up with people who are doing the vitamins and uh, extra additives. Uh, we've got some folks, lots of folks, cutting up and chopping. And then we've got some folks with the food processor that are... Uh, actually uh, chopping it further down so that this becomes a pretty fine uh, mash of, of uh, goop here. Um, we found that, you know, it's actually better when it's frozen. The food processor does a better job that way. Um, you know, the slimy octopus you saw me putting in the snow uh, would just, you know, get in that food processor and spin around and, you know, stick to the sides. So, um, Empty. We're just, you know, trying every method we can here to to uh, get this stuff chopped up as small as we can get it. Yeah, we're gonna do the nori, but I gotta grind it. So actually, let's do this and then we'll. So choppity chop 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 chop. You know, uh, that's a krill there with the um, shrimp. We just cut the tails off and uh, threw it in. This shrimp was frozen. It was pretty easy to get the tails off pretty quick. Put it in the food processor. Chopped up pretty well as long as it was frozen. You can see some other guys that are dicing that stuff up pretty tiny. And the reason is that shrimp was not frozen. So it was a whole heck of a lot harder to mess with. Um, here's a, this is probably a, I don't know, 15 gallon bucket here, maybe 20 even. And uh, we're just dumping the juice in. <laughs> hey, get your hand in there, scoop Yeah, now you gotta get all the rest of that stuff out of there. Mm. Oh, we have more to put in the bucket, oh, oh, oh. right? Go in there. Get your hand in there. Nobody bend over. You're gonna do it? Alright. Yeah, when I bought those, they, they said they can't guarantee their water. No. Yeah. So this is the fun part. Which, which I, I couldn't really understand the whole purpose of having a glove if it's going to leak anyways, but maybe there's a point. To make you feel better when you're yeah. blowing up the ass out of a cow? <laughs> when you're yeah. shoulder deep in a cow. <laughs> <laughs> you know what those are for? Yeah. Yeah. They're, oh, AI, they're, they're AI gloves. Uh, or if they're constipated. Oh. I've pulled a cow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's oh, like yeah. a kaleidoscope. You know, I think I saw that at a rest stop once. That looks... <laughs> 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 that looks delicious. The place is starting to stink up pretty good. This is some rancid, rancid stuff. Um, anyway, we're uh, ripping up all the nori. And then uh, we found that uh, with the nori, it's necessary I, I to throw a little of the goop in there in the food processor and that gives it a little bit of moisture so that it chops up otherwise the food processor uh, really wasn't doing much so you can see he's pulling some nori goop out of there now because um, this last time around it worked pretty good. Um, do we have an idea of how much we're doing here? Uh, slop some in I'll tell you. <laughs> You know, I'm not sure where they found this uh, funnel. It has a real wide opening on it. It worked very well. So they're putting it into these uh, vacuum seal bags here. 
And uh, right now they're just kind of guessing on this one, uh, this first one. And then we'll see, uh, you know, what it weighs. Oh! Wow! Two and a half. Almost two and a half pounds, so we're a little heavy. Try vacuum sealing today. See if we can back seal these instead of just putting them in Ziploc bag. Um, it should hold much longer. What I do is I typically freeze it after I make it and then back seal it, and then last. Yeah. Yeah. It's messy no matter what you do, probably. That's it. That's unacceptable. Gary had me running away from him. Do we have? You gotta roll it further down. Further down? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That is a lot of slop there. <laughs> So we got them all bagged up here, uh, just about done anyways, and we've got about 40 some pounds. Here's the whole group, uh, proud of their work, and uh, boy, it was it was a stink going on there. So I just thought I'd show you uh, Tim's aquarium here. This is the back side, and we'll move around to the front in a minute. So this is quite the system. I think he said it was 500 gallons. Um, he's got the lights mounted up on some tracks here. And then he's got it hooked up to this, uh, it looks kind of like a garage door opener, but it's a big, uh, you know, DC motor that uh, drives the lights up and down. It's uh, pretty cool how that thing works. It's cool. So it looks like a plywood box that he just uh, finished the inside on it, huh? That's the sump. Oh, No. Wow. So he's got some, some pretty nice frags here in the sump and, um, and he's got a pretty nice LED light. You can see there's a fan there and he's got some power and stuff. He's got stuff. a feeder on the sump. Uh, <coughs> all in all, this is a pretty nice system. Uh, pan over here and you can see a skimmer in the corner and then he's got a homemade uh, ATS system here. Oh, looks kind of familiar like maybe my plan. Maybe not. But Anyways, we'll see if we can get Tim to talk about his tank here. Yeah, the stuff takes up so much more room. What do you dose with? Uh, just a calcium reactor. Okay. I see you had two part things to it. Yeah, I was doing two part. Um, I don't pay a lot of attention to it. I check it every couple of weeks, and I'll 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 use two part to adjust it if I have to. Um, I really haven't had a lot of need to dose until I put in the. The new sticks from Langer, I'm trying to be a little more careful now that I'm having to watch this stuff. Um, but those, the, the big plates were from him too, and they just took off when I put them in here, so. What do you have lining this uh, wood with, or is it just... It's effectively an inside-out boat, so it's marine epoxy, okay. two-part marine epoxy, inside and out. Um, and then the inside corners are all fiberglass, matte reinforced, okay. just, to, just to give it a little more oomph, but it's... Glued and screwed and then fiberglass. Knock on wood, it's been... Yeah. <laughs> it's been good. And a little bit of rust off the off the rods I put in just because I felt like it needed something to support it sure. across the middle. But. So, what's this uh, cable system on top? <laughs> the mess. Um, so the lights are controlled by, my, by the Apex. Um, I pulled out the knobs and the, and the they're just Chinese black boxes, and they're actually zero to ten volt controlled. So they, so a little bit of creative wiring you can run them off the apex. You can run three per apex port basically. Um, any more than that, you start to have too much current draw. But it's, uh, right. it's, it's, you know, it's all it's all wired off a central wiring point, and then it's all an electric motor. Get it up and out of the way when I want to work in the tank, otherwise, it's just too intrusive. That went way quicker than I thought. Oh, I thought it, like a garage door opener is gonna be like, mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I 
five well, minutes. This is actually a. It is. It is called a garage gator. Yeah. It's for hanging bikes and other miscellaneous. You know, they have different attachments where you can have big platforms to put boxes on or whatever. But I, I looked at doing it all myself and building it from scratch, and even building it by scratch and having a hand crank. It just the convenience of being able to slap this thing up and. <laughs> Attach two wires and be done has made it well worth the extra cost. So you have to be careful on which types of what brands of black boxes to be able to do the bolts? But almost all the same. Um, as far as I know, I haven't heard of any, any of them that aren't the exact same guts. <laughs> even even the, the, like the SB Reflights, exactly the same inside. It's the same, same pot, same dimmer, same driver. The only difference is what LEDs are in You can see there's a little color difference in the middle two to the other four. The middle two have SB Reflight retrofit boards in them. Because I wanted to see if it made a difference. It doesn't, that I can tell. Mm. I would say the blues are a little brighter, but otherwise it's, the, you know, there's no difference in growth or anything underneath them. Hey, thanks for watching Cyclone Reef. Please hit the subscribe button, like our video. We'll see you next time.